are back in with another Bulls unboxing. Today we're looking at Besieged Sons of the Abyss, which is a one to six player cooperative board game. That's right. Uh, it's a, a castle defense type of game. Uh, it takes place over 12 rounds, which is four seasons uh, of game, basically game turns, uh, sort of. <laughs> but basically uh, each player takes place of one hero or uh, a, a mix of heroes and you fight off different ways of the bad guys coming to uh, storm the castle. You get all this stuff in the, bo the box here is obviously the back of the box. Uh, it's pretty great stuff. Again, this is from Second Gate Games and also Cool Mini or Not. Uh, so go check them out, Second Gate, and uh, Cool Mini, obviously the distributor for this game. Uh, it is 14 and up, uh, one to six players. Again, you can play this game solo, more fun with players, <laughs> depending on the players. It takes, a play, <laughs> takes about an hour to 90 minutes to play, so uh, fairly quick play time. Uh, so let's take a look at the inside of the box. All right, pretty pumped to get inside this one. Again, another uh, high quality board game production from Cool Mini or Not. Uh, they make quite a few cool board games. Just hang on one second, we can't quite get it out. <laughs> They make them fit really snug in the box. Uh, come on. Da, da, da. So many cues of music. <laughs> All right, here we go. And it's a nice thick box. That's why it takes so long to get out, fighting that coefficient of friction. So, rule book, like a little magazine print. Looks like full color, pretty cool. Uh, nice glossary there at the back. Uh, summary of play. So there you go. We have a nice big stack of cards here. So I don't know what any of that is, but we're just unboxing for right now. Have a bunch of dice. Always nice. We have some stuff. Looks like for turn tokens, and these look like little miniature stands or something. And that stuff set it to the side. Okay. Uh, cool Mini tends to uh, package their stuff in these little sub-assembly boxes, so that's always cool. But what I like about them is when you pull out these the miniatures, they have these nice plastic things that stack very nicely. So we have the heroes here. These are obviously uh, some bad guy looking demon things that uh, we're going to be fighting. So all six heroes, let's take a look real quick. These are hard plastic. Uh, these are not the bendy kind. so. Um, do not, <laughs> do not bend or snap these. They are, are nice hard plastics. Uh, they look a little shiny, probably mold release on them. So run them through some uh, hot water and uh, scrub them down a little bit. And if you wanted to paint these up, I bet they'd take paint pretty nice because these look like some pretty decent model uh, sculpts, at least from the angle I'm looking at. So that's what those are. These are also, yep, hard plastic. These are not the uh, the bendy plastic from some of their any other games. So all hard plastics. Um, we have another sub-assembly here. And then of course the board stuff. Let's go ahead and open this one up real quick before we open up the rest of its contents. All right. This looks like a two stack thing. All right, and then we've got, those go on the base of the of the uh, player character, only about different colors. So we've got a couple of different uh, Stacks of bad guys. I'm gonna move this to the side for a second. Yep. Those are definitely all of the bad guys. We'll take a closer look at them in a moment. And then we have, it looks like the bottom here is the board. I'm gonna tilt this this way. Yep, and out it comes. We have little dividers. See, that's the last of the stuff in the box. And then we have the, uh, the actual board tiles. So cool stuff. I'm gonna open this up. And we'll take a look at some of the miniatures and uh, some of the deck cards too, because the art on this game looks pretty darn cool. Okay, I've got the uh, the board components laid out here, along with the cards. I'll take a look at the miniatures and the rule book a little bit more uh, after I go through this stuff, but I wanted to show the stuff off real fast. I'm gonna start with the uh, the player uh, player sheets, basically. So we've got uh, six different heroes. You have the archer uh, here, archer. Uh, you've got the paladin. Uh, you've got a blacksmith, you've got the smuggler, then you've got the mercenary, and the sorcerer. So, pretty cool stuff. Each one of them is unique. They have their own uh, backstories. You can see there, cards, lovely artwork, uh, kind of fun, cartoony, 
uh, artwork there. So cool stuff. And of course the uh, play sheet as well. Keep track of your goal, your hit points, your level, uh, your gear, stuff like that. So cool stuff all the way around. And I guess, I don't know what the stars are on the, on the bottom, maybe actions or uh, abilities or something like that. But again, each one's got their own backstory, which is always fun to read, um, stuff like that. So, yep. And they are color coordinated to, uh, to match the uh, player bases that come in the box. So <laughs> that's what those are. Uh, these are different play sheets. We, again, we have a bunch of tokens that get punched out. These are front and back. Uh, so pretty cool tokens, set those to the side. And more token sheets, front and back. There's the little uh, turn counter dial thing. So, and again, you are defending your castle, which is what the uh, enemies are attacking. There is a little bit of uh, kind of travel, I guess, as, as the board gets built out. This one's not front and back. You're just playing with the castle. And then there's different places, the armory, the sanctuary, the market, stuff like that, sorcery tower, where you can go, and I'm assuming buy upgrades and gear and stuff like that. And then uh, these are kind of the directions that the enemies are coming from. So different mountainous areas, it's like that forest and stuff. So you can see how that all works together. These are again, front and back. So multiple ways to play. <laughs> and then the active event. So there's different decks here. They just kind of correspond here. So if you want to buy, go to the army or whatever, you'd flip some cards over and you can see here uh, how that works, different stuff in the army. But I wanted to show off real quick, just the uh, art style of the cards. So I'll go through each deck kind of real fast. There's different effects that they have on the player, obviously. Uh, they look different. Um, good artwork, I like it a lot. It's pretty nice. So cool stuff. Again, same kind of fun, artsy style, uh, kind of cartoony, um, kind of uh, hyper stylized, kind of uh, World of Warcraft -y in, in some respects there. So, which is not a bad thing, you know, if you're definitely into that. So, again, one is six players, so lots of different stuff. That's the market. Looks like buffs and stuff you can buy. Here are some of the enemies, enemy cards, what they're gonna do. Uh, I don't know if this is like an AI deck, but you can kind of see uh, some stats on the, the enemies and stuff like that, like their defense and attack stat, and uh, I guess resources as well. So that's cool. We have the uh, tavern as well, more cool artwork. <laughs> Go get drunk, get some buffs. <laughs> Maybe get some, uh, some, some debuffs, I don't know. Hangover card. <laughs> Sorcery cards, these are obviously spells. Uh, that you're going to be able to have effects in game, which I have no idea because I haven't read the rules. And then different events, things that happen round one, round two. I don't even know if these are, um, well, the, these are the, uh, I guess, the amount of time that they last. So this one, for instance, accumulated fatigue. Heroes cannot use their starting abilities. Uh, looks like it lasts a round. So, ouch. <laughs> so those are all the different decks. And then obviously the different, the, the compass there are, uh, obviously four cardinal directions that we're going with there. So I don't, I don't know if somebody's running or what, but again, just six or seven different decks, little, if you count the compass, it's seven decks, but uh, that's all really cool. Let's flip through the rule book again real quick. Again, high quality stuff. There's kind of your, your contents of what's included in the game, uh, how to set up the game board here. Uh, and again, just the, how the sequence of play, how that all works, what each thing is, what it does in game as far as effects. Just break down, it's a rule book, and then a, <laughs> a, a, a rundown of all of the heroes and stuff like that. So, and then the, the villains, of course, that you're gonna be fighting. So all the different stuff. Avatar, the Abyss is the big one. And then we have Moles, um, I can't read upside down. Standard, Gargaroth, Elite Gargaroth, uh, Standard Crone, and Elite Crone. So uh, pretty buff looking dudes. And then uh, I'm gonna pause real quick one more time. We're gonna look at some of the miniatures up close. And then, uh, yeah, let's go take a look at those miniatures. Okay, I just wanna do a really quick spread of all the different miniatures as far as like, these are the bad guys, obviously. Uh, you can see here, pretty high quality stuff. Again, they are that high, uh, high quality hard plastics. These are not bendy. Um, they have a little bit of a sheen to them, but if you wanted to paint them up, they totally would, would look awesome painted, I think. They have lots of little nooks and crannies to take any kind of detail. Um, I think a quick primer and a wash would do wonders on these guys as far as uh, that kind of stuff. They do have uh, kind of a molten rock theme going on, so if you wanted to test your skills, 
uh, painting up some uh, molten bad guys, these would definitely be great, uh, great models to do that with. But yeah, you have a, a, a bunch of different ones, a bunch of different uh, styles of, of bad guys here. We have some, <laughs> we have some crones, I guess, riding other dudes. So riding the bad guys, so it's pretty cool. And these big, big dudes, big axes, big stone obsidian melted, molten weapons. So, and then these little guys running around causing problems. Probably belching fire, if I had to guess. So that's what the bad guys, you get a bunch of these guys. Looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six times four different rows. So, and then these another six times four. So lots of stuff. And again, the cool part is kind of a dumb reason to like too many or not, but <laughs> I like the fact that these things always stack up very nice and neat when you are putting them away. I'll try to spare you guys the horrible plasticky sound of plastic and then here are the heroes we've taken a look at them already uh, it's hard to tell because of the lighting in here but they actually do have a lot of really cool shadows or a lot of really cool uh, detail on them despite of the shadows so you can kind of see here um, really cool models I, I like the I like the look so I like the look of this game in general so it looks like a lot of fun again it is one to six players uh, if you want to play solo you can but I'm telling you go find some friends this is besieged from uh, Second Gate Games, and Cool Mini or not, go check it out. It's pretty awesome looking, uh, and go defend your castle. This is Adam here from Bulls signing off for another uh, Bulls unboxing. Have a good one.